In this Battletech Tactica vlog, we're going to explore the checklist, the Tactica of mechs that lock into a single range band. Now, previously, we were discussing, pushed up to the Battletech playlist here, some of the different weapon combinations, Inner Sphere for Battletech, uh, this idea of redundancy where you have different weapon platforms that can overlap. This was highlighted in asking the question, what is the ideal mech? Something that can engage at long range, LRMs, PPCs, then switch to medium lasers. And then once you get to close in, you've got some small lasers, some SRM packs, things like that. This idea that at different ranges, you've got something that you can push out. Now, we're going to take that framework. What about something like the Javelin? And, and this is a lighter machine that I love to run. I love to play. It's a lot of fun. Two SRM six packs. That's it. That's all you have. Left torso, right torso. So utilizing a machine like that, how does that work? Now, sidebar pushed up to the Battletech playlist here on my channel. You can review the Javelin Tactica. I'm not going to get into exactly that. But there's this idea of taking the battle value or, or C-bills, whatever that currency is, and putting it into one area. One area, this idea of a little bit of an overload. So I'm taking all of my battle value, right? Obviously adjusted for um, light, medium, heavier assault mech, putting it into one area, one specialization. If I can pull that off tactically, that means I'm going to be able to potentially overwhelm you. You're not going to be able to deal with it. Um, tactically with the javelin, just to framework it, getting in very, very close to rear armor, and being able to fire both of those SRM six packs, left torso, right torso, right punch, left punch, that is a very, very powerful combination. Um, especially if I can get up there tactically, if I'm going up against a medium or a heavy machine, take that down, that, that's two to three times the modifier with the battle value. Easier said than done, right? We're looking at it from this tactical view. On the opposite side, we have what I call, what I like to label, a trooper mech. This is a machine, perfect example, uh, Thunderbolt, Catapult. I don't know the mission. I don't know the forces I'm going to face. I don't even know the hex map. Sometimes what we'll do is um, we will mix up the various hex maps under the table, pull one out. That's what we're playing on. If I don't know what I'm going up against, then having a trooper mech, one that can excel at all situations, that's on the opposite side. Now, there's this idea, right? A specialized mech, one range band, one thing. How do you pull that off? Well, there's a slight tax to be paid. And, and what that tax means is if we're looking at a trooper mech, like the T-Bolt or the Catapult, I can find myself in a variety of situations. I might be a little matched, a little outgunned, but I can hold my own for a little bit until conditions become a little bit more favorable for myself, this idea of a one specialized range band mech, I can't, I can't operate out of that. There's just, there's just zero forgiveness. If I'm just running up the side of the hex map with my javelin, you're going to light me up with auto cannons, PPCs. I'm never going to make it. I'm going to be like, this mech is horrible. I hate this game. I'm done. That's a failing on me. The tax means you need something else to work with these type of machines. I call it a tax because you got, you got to pay it. You're in. Battle value, C-bills, whatever that, that currency is going to be. You're in. So what that means is I need something else to work with this to open up the opportunity on the tabletop for it to happen. Examples. Well, building a lance. Um, building a lance will take into account maybe something like the javelin. Can I get other machines up there to keep my opponent busy? And then once they're locked in, then move in with the javelin. An example of that would be say, um, a Warhammer or similar machine. If I move up, I get locked in about three or four hexes away where we're slugging it away. Can't really break off because if you break off, then I'm just going to push forward with the momentum. Um, at that point, I can bring up the javelin and hopefully get you with that. Uh, another way if I was going to operate very, very specialized would be vehicles. Vehicles are a great way to pay the tax and um, get something very, very useful for the minimal value, taking some fast moving hovers, hover machines, um, SRM sixes, SRM fours, 
medium lasers, low battle value buy-in. Zoom, the, zoom those hovers up with the javelin, and once we start getting to midfield, blast ahead with the hovers, with the speed. Have them open up on the target, and, and now your opponent's got to make some choices. Shoot at the hovercraft, but then my javelin makes it up there, and it could just be two hovercraft, right? We're not talking about like, like 10. But the tax can't be that high. Or kind of engage the javelin, but then eat a bunch of shots from those hovers, or, you know spread my dice thin and just engage everything that never works um sidebar tactica focusing fire very 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 important so this idea most mechs especially once you get to the medium and heavy tonnage where now you've got some weapon slots that you can mount you really start to see that where now you can focus and push that out if we go in the opposite direction for a very, very specialized single range band mech, you got to have the tech, the tools, and the talent to make it work.